In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how I've installed the shower and how I've constructed the composting toilet. It's going to be an all-in-one wet room. That means that I've got to seal up the hole inside of the shower. I'm going to explain to you how I've done that or how I intend to do it. So we're going to crack on and I will show you and explain to you exactly what I've done in this shower unit. Nothing is completely secured apart from the back plywood walls. So I'll just explain to you what I've done. I've just cut a sheet of vapor barrier and now I have it taped up here to the sides of the van and it's just hanging down loosely. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna secure it up and then cut out for the fan and cut out for the light. And then once I have that done, I'm gonna spray this area with some uh, fast tack on this side, cover this so don't get it, uh, any glue in it, cover this so don't get any glue in it, spray all this area, then spray this, and then what I can do is from underneath, slowly push it up, and then the whole roof will be sealed with vapor barrier. That's the plan, I'll come back to you in a minute and show it. As you can see, I've now secured it uh, to the roof, and I've cut out the hole for the fan, the extractor fan and that's where the, the light is going so now I'm just gonna drop it down against the wall spray the adhesive onto the back of the back of the superfoil and then onto the roof and then we should be able to get that into place so I'll come back to you in a minute because I'm running out of space on my SD card and that was a success I've now the whole bathroom toilet area sealed with vapor barrier and you can see where I've cut off with a roof vent and the light. The back walls have been lined with uh, marine ply and it's five mil I think. Five mil marine ply on the back walls and on the, the end wall. So that just, that marine ply comes out as far as here I secured it to the studding against the bulkhead. So that marine ply is secured there. And then what I did was I constructed this frame up here first. So everything was built around the shower tray. The dimensions of the shower tray, 588 by 600, I think. So it's uh, 600 this way, 600 mil by 588. I think they're the measurements. So what I wanted to do was, I wanted to maximize this space as much as I possibly could. And the way I've done that is, I've decided to go with a composting toilet for a number of reasons. And I will go into that later, but as you can see, that's actually hanging over the edge of the tray. And that means that when you're standing in the shower, that you can put your feet under there. It, it compacts the, the space, gives you a bit more room in the rest of the van. And as you can see, there's loads of room on the toilet to sit. And in the back, the shower faucet for the hot and cold tap. The way I secured the marine ply to the side of the van was I just drilled directly into uh, the side of the van with self-tapping screws I think there were 25 mil um, some of them sunk in nicely and then some of them stayed flush but these ones sunk in really well oh yeah so I just marked out if there's like ribs going along here in the van and then there's ribs down there in the van and then so here along here and then down here I screwed into ribs in the side of the van and then along here I just marked out where the battens were on the the bulkhead and then also along on the inside marked it out you can see it with the pencil there and secured that to the side then once I had this fitted I just ran a bead of 
uh, silicone, clear silicone down here, um, specifically for bathrooms. And I sealed in that. And the front of it is 12 mil ply. So this is 12 mil ply. And I just got one whole sheet and I cut out the door. So for the side of the shower, I put in this stud frame and then I secured it to the, the roof of the van here with a self tapping bolt. And then I also secured it to the base of the van. This is nine mil ply on that side. And then on this side, I'm also gonna have nine mil ply and it's gonna slide in and the inside here I'm going to secure it with uh, L brackets, small L brackets, and that will pull this 10 mil ply out to the frame, the plywood that's going on the back. I'm going to actually, when everything's sealed up, and when I've got all the pipes, because the pipes are running in here, they'll run in here, and then they'll come up here and connect into the faucet for the shower head, for the shower. So I've got to add some extra framing for the, to hold the, for the shower faucet there. For this, I used, 70 mil width um, for the battens for the ones going across the thickness is 40 so it's 70 70 mil by 40 um, yeah so that makes sure it gives me plenty of room here for pipes or anything else I want to run don't know what I'm running but anyway. The next thing I'm going to do is to start to secure everything in and to do that I'm going to actually have to take it out because I've just dry fitted everything to make sure I was happy with the way the whole shower unit was constructed rather than fixing everything straight away and then realizing that I have to go back and take something out to put something back in. So I'm happy with the way it's constructed and now I'm going to take it out and then talk you through the process of how I've actually constructed it. So this is the construction of it from the outside. As you can see, I've used these battens to do the main frame, and that's 40 mil by 40 by 40, 40 mil by 40, is it? Yeah, so those buttons are 40 mil by 40 tree or something like that. The first thing I did was I created this frame up on top. All right, so I just cut two lengths, one and then another one on the back. Another one at the back, two there. And then I cut these cross sections, so one two and then one at the bottom three so i'm leaving room for the fan this will be the extractor fan here and then this will be the light what i'm also going to do is put in led lights around here and then connect that to a switch and run it down up there through here and uh, somewhere i'll have a switch here i put in supports for the shower tray I'll just show you for the shower tray I put in this one against the bulkhead and then this one against the side of the van and I've used screws and also adhesive to stick it to the side of the wall and then I've used these pocket hole screws to hook it in that way and that's just to give the outer lip of the shower tray a bit of extra support and then what I also did was, I cut this, uh, so that pops just there. Sorry. So I cut this to um, sit under this, sit under that ledge, the ledge here of the shower tray and that just pops in here like that. This is the door opening here. And then just above that, I put another batten. And that's because that then allows you to step into the shower. So I also wanted some place to store your um, shower stuff 
toothbrushes, toothpaste, all that stuff. And I constructed this frame. So from the inside, it will be, this will be, the, the plywood's gone up on the outside of that. So you're gonna have, you can rest all your toiletries there, toothbrush, your uh, shampoos. For the inside of this, what I did was, I just basically measured it up, cut out the marine ply, and then slotted it in on top of composting toilet. So the composting toilet runs from the back wall to the front wall, like that. I constructed that separately, and that's how I've constructed the composting toilet. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you look closely, I actually constructed the composting toilet at an angle, so it's higher at the back than it is at the front. That means hopefully when you're having a shower then the water won't actually gather anywhere along the composting toilet and it will float off. Next thing to do is to take out the composting toilet and then seal all the edges of the van. I'm gonna seal it using this. So now I've got these screw holes all filled in with uh, the silicone so that'll just uh, prevent them from getting wet and any water getting in there. The next thing I'm going to do is secure this side batten. I've secured it with um, a screw going into the bulkhead and then a screw going in at an angle to hold down this top frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna secure the rest of it to the bulkhead, run some screws down along here. And then I'll just talk about this section on top, how I secured it was, if you see, if you see these battens here, so they're running along the ribs of the van, all the way down, there's another one there. Well, what I did was I lined these up. So I lined this up with that batten and I, for this outer one, it was kind of missing it, so I put in an extra batten here. So I lined this one up with this rib, then I drilled directly up into the batten, and I maintained a gap. I didn't actually drill flat up onto the roof, and the same with that one. I drilled up on this batten here. So there's two battens, there's the outside batten, but then I put in an extra one, so then, that means I could actually screw into that wood 12 mil ply. So that's how that's secured to the roof of the van. And then I just stabilized it uh, with this screw here in the front. And then these two screws here in the front angle. And then the same with this one here. Pocket holes and then screwed into it. So that's how that's stabilized. That frame is going nowhere. All this frame is nice and secure. So now I'm just gonna secure this one. So now I have that secured to the side wall. What I'm going to do next is secure this. This one I want to secure to the front of the frame. Mark it here, about there on, on that. Pilot hole and countersink. And then I'm gonna screw it in here. And then I'll do some pilot holes on the bottom secured in to the bottom rail and that's gonna go nowhere.